so that we can finish off some of these bedrooms and stuff. And then we can get some of these rooms set up as well. So this is a marble dresser. Excellent. Get some of this stuff built. We won't build the toilets though. So we don't need them. Tooth is on a food binge. Alright, great. So now if people need a room, there's plenty of rooms and beds and all sorts of stuff for people now, right? We should be fine. Rossi is still healing. We have a psychic drone in. Dalio and Rob XD. Oh my god. The peace talks finished and they were just standing around out there. They barely have enough food to get back now. They're camping. <laughs> Jesus. Just check out Meeple Station on Steam. Yeah, I think I'd seen uh, something about that game. It looks pretty fun. What was the so what what was the answer on jo Joy Wires? Is this something that I want or not really? Do I want to install a Joy Wire into somebody who's depressed? No. So if somebody's depressed, like our Tafki, removes pain, but it makes it easier for them to get injured. Installing the Coxian permanent always on vibrator. <laughs> nice. It makes them stupid. Only someone who keeps getting sad and doing the sad wander or something. Right, okay. So somebody like Artafki. Artafki, his current needs. Uh, he's not even depressive, actually, Artafki. Hinge. Jim Bob. Tucker. Tooth depressive? No. Depressive barrack. Alright, well, we'll see. Imagine having an open heart surgery and 10 peasants passing by with dirty stuff. Yeah, I know. All these people are just coming in and out. It's still sterile, though. Rossi likes it. He likes to see the peasants. He likes to laugh at them while he's in his hospital bed. One walks through, like, just holding a whole crate full of bananas, go heading to the storage area, and he's like... <laughs> Naves. Naves. Alright, we gotta teach Jajardums and the Firebug how to haul now. And Viper7 needs to learn how to haul as well. Good. And Herman the Husky. We want to teach Herman the Husky, I guess, while they're here. And it's good uh, its good experience for uh, Minkus, who needs to be able to have his own army of wargs and stuff for hunting, right? There's no wildlife present on the map right now, so... Hopefully nobody gets an illness. <laughs> Jardim's learning how to haul, yeah? Loving it. Fucking loving every minute of that hauling experience. Okay, food-wise, we're okay for? Are these guys almost back? They're slowly making their way. It's gonna take half a day for them to get back, and they have half a day of food, so... We'll see how they get on. How are we doing for hot water and stuff? Do we need more boilers? Do we need more boilers or more hot water tanks? I never know which one to do. Boilers. I don't know where I'm gonna put these bad boys actually. I need like a boiler room or something. Joy wire does not remove pain. No, it's just for people who are depressive, right? It'll give them a mood boost and stop them from sad wandering and shit like that. That's good. In itself, that's very good. Like I would I would like to have some some of that. Um Steel, we're okay for for now because we're not uh, rearming traps because I think we're at a point now where we can just sort of reload these guns 
fix them up every time they fire and it's pretty good. These traps aren't going to be rearmed. So once they're done, they're done. So we still have a couple of traps in the north there. How's the rat army? What are we waiting for on the hot tub? Um, granite blocks, apparently. We don't have any. So we're going to have to haul in some granite. Man, that seems crazy. There's some marble wall here. Is there anything in there? No, nothing. Uh, this is all marble. Where the hell's all the granite? Isn't there a whole bunch down here? This this is all granite, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, so let's mine all this stuff out. So we should be able to get rid of... We can keep that one, and then let's keep another one just like over here. Arctic Fox Revenge. Caravan is back. Oh, it's these two guys. It's the, just the warps. Psychic shit. Alright everybody, get back to base. Zone, expand area, safe zone. Safe zone is looking pretty good. Okay, so we want the animals to get back into animal safe. So that's going to be um, all of these things. These animals. And then we want to restrict all of our people to safe as well, right? Okay. And it looks like we're most definitely going to get attacked from the south here. So we're going to want uh, Rossi. Rossi. Minkus. Epico. Tooth. Victor. Mary Joanna. Callow. Should be enough. And then we're going to want to have somebody like Tucker. Actually, Savinkia. Grab these. Actually, you know what? Drake's and Dalio. Dalio, grab these EMP grenades for now. Since you've got armor on and stuff anyway. Okay, we're going to send Dalio down here. To just toss grenades at this opening. So if a bunch of mechs do come in here, we're just going to... We're just going to stun them, right? Be great. All right, and then let's get uh, Coxian. Let's get Arctafki on here. Let's get Jim Bob on here. Tucker and Mizora, I guess. And then let's set this force target like so. And wait for the works to come back. Here they come! Not quite. 57%. Okay. That's not working. Okay, you might have to reevaluate. A lot of fire. Oh wait. Is that friendly fire? Oh fuck, I think that was friendly fire. Poor Dalio. Exotic goods trader. Starvation on Jim Bob. Dalio, what are you doing? Running around on fire. Rossi. Alright, everybody. Let's just chill. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, and the trap managed to get this guy. Which is good, because actually the uh, turrets and stuff were all un underpowered because of the solar flare. 
Jesus Christ. What a mess that was. Okay, well, at least we got it. It was only two centipedes and a fucking one scyther, so it was okay. But we have a lot of healing to do together as a colony. We have to heal together. We don't need traps. Some collateral damage. A little bit of collateral damage. I should have taken them off of the, um, the thing. So hang on, this isn't really going to work because of because of reasons so when they come we're gonna have to change this around i think so we need them to come into the one one area because he was behind this wall and he was being protected by it so actually we just need to make a hallway that they come right up to you hopefully yeah i think we can do that actually psychic soothe okay that's that's good Okay, we can't trade during a solar flare. Dalio's about to have a major break. Oh, it's because he's tending to all of the animals and stuff. Dalio, are you going to survive this? Oh, you've been tended to. That's fine. He's just got a lot of burns from the self. Man, how many friendly fire incidents have we had in this game? It's crazy, isn't it? So many. Can I have some go juice? Your maze provides cover for the enemies when they come in. Yeah, I know. I gotta change it around. It's no good. They they have too much cover coming in. I think what we need to do is something more like structure deconstruct. Let's deconstruct all of this. We don't really need that big of a maze anymore if we're not going to be using traps, right? We're gonna let all of our dudes shoot people. Okay, Rob, is it too late? These guys might want to buy huskies. Mittens, the polar bear. They want to buy all of our wargs and polar bears. And they want to sell us a capybara. Okay, we'll buy these components. Advanced components, I should say. Glitter world medicine. Go juice. Knob plasteel. Pinoxicillin. We can sell them all of our beer. Our thrombo horn. Tornado generators we'll hang on to. There's a triple rocket launcher here. 659 bucks. Bionic ear and a bionic... Ah, there's another Arcotech leg here. Should we get this other Arcotech leg for, um... For, for Rossi? <laughs> it's 3,000 bucks. No? I think people want no traps just to see me rage. Fill the maze with sandbags. Enemies will never stand, stay, hide on a tile that has sandbags in it. Fill the tunnel entrances with sandbags up to the line of opening. They will have no hiding spots. Oh, right, okay. He's too old. Arcotech leg. Construction neurotrainer mech serum as well. Maybe we just wait for, for like a quest for this instead. Arcotech leg. Okay, so we'll, we'll replan this maze thing, right? I'll, I'll try the sandbag thing if you think that'll work. Mm. It could, who knows, it might work, right? Okay, so that's all done. Tiles are all done there. Do we have any more cloth? They've got a lot of blue fur. All of a sudden. Chem fuel has been produced. And we're missing, Victor could use some power armor, but we don't have enough advanced components for it. We don't have enough jade for another statue in the hospital either. And we need granite blocks still too, right? So have they started mining this stuff out? No, of course they haven't. Because everybody is restricted. So we have to put everybody on unrestricted. And all these animals can now go back out as well before they start to like starve and die. Okay, good. So there's an advanced component out there. So actually we might have enough for a marine armor. We still got to send a crew up to this, um, to this as well. Got 12 days left to do it. Okay, let's go for it. So we're going to send up Rossi. We're going to send up Dalio as well. How many people are here actually? It was three turrets, a mortar and two enemies. Okay, that's not that's not too bad. All right, so we're gonna send Rossi, Tooth, and Dalio. 
And Rossi is going to take with them Spooky Boy and Mittens. The polar bears, right? Okay, in terms of items, this is for the AI core, right? So we don't actually need a muffalo, but we can always pod launch one out there if we, it turns out that we need one. Okay, medicine. Let's take some medicine. Uh, package survival meals. Actually, let's choose our route first. So it's going to take 4.6 days to travel up here to get this thing. Christ, that's far. All right, 6.2 with all these package survival meals. The polar bears will just eat the meals, apparently. They might take some kibble. 6.2. So if I take like 100 kibble with me as well, that doesn't seem to make much of a difference either. 6.2 and 4.9. So I could... I could always... Um, I could always launch them out some more food after they get there, right? Muffalo makes it faster. They carry the burden and they don't need food. So I should just take some muffalos with me. So I could take like fly speck and depressed cat. Depressed cat and fly speck. Melandru is our... Okay, and pirate copy is currently pregnant. Mubinski is pregnant as well. Jesus Christ. Okay, so we'll take fly speck and depressed cat with us. Now, they do eat food. What are you talking about they don't eat food? Look at this. They definitely do eat food. But I could probably bring some kibble with me, right? Like, if I take 200 kibble with me, I got 5.4 days of food. And then, um, while they're going there, it's going to take them 3.7 days. I could cook up some more packaged survival meals and kibble and then just launch it out to them. Bring you anyway. Am I just trying to survive as long as I can? They graze along the way if it's not winter. I think it is currently winter though, isn't it? It is 10. Okay, so we got three people, so we need to take some packs, some sleeping bags as well, right? And should we take 306 biosolids with us just for fun as well? No, 3.8 days it's gonna take. All right, I'll, uh, I'll pod them out some food. They should be fine, right? Okay, go. Go, my sons. Out you go. Okay, Minkus can do some hunting. Minkus. Minkus is almost all set to go. It just needs a helmet. And he needs to train his animal. He needs to train his animal instincts as well, right? Where is, where is Minkus? What's he up to now? Bio handling. So his animal's up to five now. So he has been doing lots of handling. So he's almost ready for um, for wargs, I believe. Animals, minkus. Yeah, he can have. Wait, what's this one? What's epico? Where's epico? Epico. Joey, Rossi, Hambruiser can go to minkus. Tush Tush can go to minkus. So Tyrus can go to Minkus as well. And then Rossi can have the polar bears, I guess. Jajardums can go to Minkus. Huskies. Minkus as well. Okay. All right. So Minkus is now ready to do some hunting with the help of... All Goods Trader. Trade ship. Did I just trade with these guys? I don't think I did actually bulk goods. These guys want to buy the rest of the okay. Moxie, Yumiko, Herman, Swampy, and Geisha. All unnamed huskies. That's the last of the huskies. We've sold them all now, guys. All of them have been sold. Fantastic. Great. God, that's good. Okay. We need to buy some um tortoise and iguana meat as well. Oh my god, that's a lot of meat. Okay, let's just buy a ton of tortoise meat instead so that we can make up these packaged meals, right? Because we're we're going to struggle to otherwise. Um, let's get these advanced components as well. Other components we don't need. And then we can sell all of this bird skin, light leather, blue fur, fox fur, 
that's fine. Do they want to buy anything else from us? Beer, we don't have any for sale. We've got a light leather parka and a poor plain leather button-down shirt. They would buy it for 56 bucks. Like you ever would. It's crazy. Okay, sell all this stuff. There's a Muffalo 2 here It's at 98% as well. So we can make some money off of this. Alright, just because there's not actually much to hunt right now. Except for an Arctic wolf. So we'll get all of this tortoise meat in. <laughs> My god. It must just have like some sort of like tortoise blender. Ready to blend up all the poor tortai. Tell Piran about my Terry MREs. I will. Yeah, all the huskies are gone. We've sold them all. We're, we're a Worgen polar bear colony now. Much better. Much better. So the Worg puppies seem to be able to fight for themselves a little bit better as well. So we need some cotton. She looks like it's growing. It's not fully planted. Jim Bob is all over it, though. He's actually planting it all up now. That's good. And once this is deconstructed, we can make this better. We'll try this Try this out. AI persuasion is done. Starflight sensors. So we need long-range mineral scanner before we can get this. Research needs to be made. Good work, Jim Bob. Yeah. How is Terry both in game and IRL? He's fine. He's just really sleepy recently. Really, really sleepy. All right, so we have the granite blocks that we need now. Has this mining happened? A little bit of it has. Ham bruiser is fully healed. Nice. All right, here we go. It's got some bucks and stuff. Restrict to colony unrestricted. Okay. Okay, so in terms of work, Minkus, who's got a passion for handling, can do handling as a secondary now. Caravan request? They're going to give me some gold for 68 knives. <laughs> for fuck's sake. There's no way I'm doing that. You're doing great, There's no yeah. way I'm doing that. The worst. Did you miss anything? No. 68 knives. It's going to take me forever to make 68 knives. There's no way I'm doing that. Okay, so Minkus should be out here hunting now when he wakes up. That is. You can change the power level on the boilers to make them boil more. Increase the power. So currently heating units. Oh, I can do that? Oh, I see. So maybe I don't need this many boilers. I've made quite a few boilers, haven't I? What does the boiler say about its power level? So, currently, it's heating units and power. It's using 1750 watts to provide this heating. But it's minus 19 outside and it's really nice and warm in the base now at least. So that's good. Okay, that's good. So I don't need to make more boilers, I can just up them. But at the cost of power, of course. Spire surgery on Kalo. That's nice. We've got our hot tub set up here, but we don't have any pipes to it. So we'll run some pipes under the floor here. We have enough wood. And this is ready to go. Okay, so... Granite wall. So we want this to be like... This. And then what? We just want to have it so that they get in here, but they don't have anything to hide behind. So if I do it like this, and then I fill the rest with sandbags, they'll come through here, but they won't stay on the sandbag. They'll come out here into the middle. 
where I can then shoot them. Fill the gaps in with sandbags. Okay, we'll try this out. If this works, then hallelujah. Okay, Minkus is out here. Doing the doo-doo. <laughs> okay, so Minkus should have all of these animals following him around. Oh, he doesn't. So all of Minkus's need to follow him until he's got his... That's right, because we had the polar bears with Rossi, right? Okay, so now Minkus's animals can come follow him around while he's hunting, right? Okay, that's fine. We got some cargo pods as well. So let's grab all this stuff, and then the rest of the wargs can do hauling and all that kind of good stuff, right? Put the entering point at the range of the turrets. Yeah, it's, it is. The turrets have good range for it right now. Maybe if we hit them from there. I want to make sure that we have good range for the charge rifles and stuff here too, so I don't want it too far away. Right? Oh, you me he meant maximum range of the turrets. Oh, for the, um, because of, um, so that it, it, they can deal with the snipers, I guess, right? He just busted a nut on accident. Nice. Quite the mechanical sound for the turret. Pshong, pshong, pshong. Okay, we'll try this down here this time. This time and see how this works. And then if it's better, more cargo pods. Holy crap. So are cargo pod drops controlled by Randy Random as well, or what? We'll try it like this and see how it works. And then we can have like a... Um, we'll have like some sandbags set up here. And then we could have like... Some granite walls set up like this. Right? So that we can have... A guy throwing grenades here. Maybe on either side, in fact. So that we could have not only an EMP one, but we can also have like a... Is that far enough away, do you think? Well, we can test it out, right? So Hinge... Who was it that had it? Oh, it was Dalio, who is... Uh... Ah, fuck. I sent Dalio on this mission with EMP grenades with the with the EMP grenades Sabenkia Coxian Okay Coxian get down here So Coxian if Coxian's behind here chucking grenades it reaches perfectly where we want the grenades to go. Okay, nice. So that means we can set up the same thing on the other side. How far away is this? Eight. So it's like here. And then I go structure granite walls. So that they can hide behind the pillars too, right? You put turrets there for crossfire. Yeah, I could do. What, just like little little sentries you need? Just in case they come out, we can shoot at them. I think we'll just grenade them from either side. PC Gamer time. I haven't heard anything from PC Gamer for some time now, in fact. I haven't. That's just the way that it goes. Okay, so we can get back down here and continue mining up. Some of this trash. 
as as Munt as Munt would put it. I don't know if you guys know Munt, but he pronounces the word trash. Trash. Oh, man, I haven't talked to Munt in a long time, actually. In fact, I think the last time I spoke to him was like right before he moved to 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 Germany. I think he's in Germany now. Do you guys even know who Munt is? The power to the left of the geothermal cut off. Yeah, you know what? It's not meant to be. Oh no, it's not. It's uh it's it is it's fine actually. Power deconstruct. This can be deconstructed. Because we have a minefield in here now, so. You thought you heard the notification, or is that your computer? It must have been your computer. I haven't had a PC Gamer notification for some time. Not only does it make the sound, it also, like, pops up a, um, a little box that I have to, like, click away. It gets right in my way. It's nuts. All right, good. Well, this research is not taking that long. I guess now that we have two guys on research... Well, Hinge should be. I don't know what Hinge is doing right now, actually. Where is Hinge? Sleeping. All right, good. They won't fall apart from exposure. Doesn't need. They don't need refrigeration. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so we got all these packaged meals now, and we've got some more kibble that we can load up and launch out to these guys for their trip back. So let's get these packaged survival meals and like what a hundred kibble. Do we want to send anything else out there? Let's just wait and see. They might need some medicine and stuff. We'll see how the fight goes and then we'll launch them some stuff. This is going to be for the AI core. An AI core that we that we need, right? We need to get this AI core. So so Minkus has taken this bedroom, but nobody's claimed either of these bedrooms. So we could probably get rid of a bed here. And let's get rid of a bed here as well. Force whoever's sleeping in those beds to take these bedrooms instead. There's nobody in this one either. Barracks. Oh, hang on. Jim Bob's barracks. Uh, maybe there were some people in there, actually. Okay, long-range mineral scanner complete. Starflight sensors. Vacuum crypto sleep casket. We're getting there, boys. We can almost start working on the ship. We can actually almost start working on the ship. I'd like to test this out a few times before we actually use it, but... You're wrong all the time. It's all good. Send them a gun. It seems for you and your son excited for Super Mario Maker 2. Yeah, my son is super excited for it. He can't wait. It's coming out in June, right? Next, next month? Okay, Caravan has arrived. So there's two bad guys here, and one of them's on the mortar already. The Dalio Tooth. Okay, Tooth is just gonna have to run in here and knock this guy down. And Rossi is gonna have to go here and start fighting this this dude. God. These poor, poor polar bears. Oh my god. I really need to take them off of this, don't I? Wait, I think that's everybody. Everything dead though, right? Pretty much. Is there any turrets left? Poor mittens. Alright. Where is... Dalio. Wait, how do we rescue mittens, though? Oh, I can just tend to them. Poor mittens. And Spooky Boy as well, it turns out. Oh, shit, Spooky Boy died. <laughs> no, that's my bad. 
that. My poor polar bears. Okay, we got the AI core, though. All right, so... Oh, God, that sucks, doesn't it? Poor spooky boy. Casualty. So we can reform the caravan. We have less people to take back with us now. So we're going to take these simple and fine meals with us, these components, uh, the AI persona core, these high explosive shells as well. Do we want to bring Spooky Boy back with us? Standing lamps, batteries and stuff. It's going to take us 6.6 .6 days to get there. We have 3.3 .3 days of food. And this is with... Oh my god, why does it take so fucking long to get back? 5.5 .5 days and 3 point... Okay, so we are going to have to pot out some more food and stuff, aren't we? So let's load this up with some more meals. I think um, medicine-wise, we're fine. We didn't use any of the medicine, right? So it's just 36 meals that we're sending out there to them? Do they need anything else? Slaughter Spooky Boy there and take the meat. They might speed up as the bears heal. <laughs> you think Spooky Boy deserves a uh, hero's burial? Let's get them loaded up, boys. Epico's just having a quick shower. Talisman. Wait. We get some new works. Oh, we did as well. We got some new warg puppies. Alright, who wants to be a warg puppy? Who wants a warg puppy? Tempered... Tempered... Creator. And who is the other one? Tempered Creator. And this one that's almost dead. Canna... Canna scum. Alright. We got it. Tooth is about to have a major break risk. Mittens needs to be rescued again, apparently. Is this why it's going to take us so long? Because we have to carry... Well, how do we rescue Mittens, though? We need a... We need an animal bed. How the hell are we going to make an animal bed out here? An animal sleeping spot. Oh, I can just do it like this. So if mittens can fully heal up, it might go a bit faster. But we still have to send all the stuff out. Okay. We'll still... S I can't believe Spooky Bear is dead. Spooky Boy. <laughs> Spooky Bear. I can't believe we lost a polar bear. That kind of sucks, doesn't it? Tooth is starving now as well. Tooth, how's, how's this possible when we have so many fucking meals? Okay, Mittens. Are you going to survive? Your right kidney is still destroyed and your left eye is permanently with a gunshot injury. Poor Mittens. Alright, is this thing ready to go? Ready to launch. Great. All right, let's get this caravan reformed then, shall we? Items, fine meal, packaged meals, berries we'll take, the components we'll take. Let's take all this stuff as well. Steel mortar, let's take these batteries and standing lamps as well. We got the, we got room for it. Is there anything here that we could get? There's a synth thread toque here. There's a steel mace pour. Do we want to take a synth thread toque? Probably not, right? Okay. 6.6 6 days and we have 6.3 days of food. Alright, sure. 
let's get moving. Let's get these boys on the road, shall we? They don't need to be staying there. We've got the AI Persona Core. We can always launch them out some more meals if they need them or whatever. It's fine. Oh, yeah. Here we go, baby. It's a grizzly bear out here. Okay, and the wargs are out here feeding and stuff, too. Rossi is in a daze. This is going to slow us down big time. We've got seven days of food, and it's going to take us 6.4 days to get back here. Why is Rossi in a daze, for Christ's sake? What a fucking pianist. Minkus, good job! Bear down! Okay, go after the warg next, and then we can start working on everything else. We could have tried to tame that bear. We could have tried to just tame that bear. Harry Potter stream shut down. What? Does it start with more people, or does it just recruit everyone? Yeah, I just recruit everybody. Well, not everybody. Most people, though. It's better to have lots of people cleaning and doing stuff, isn't it? Minus seven outside, but it's nice and warm inside, so we're in good shape there. Um, and we're just waiting for the boys to come back. And we've got a warg to dispatch now as well. Job, Minkus. Holy crap, this guy is on fire. Okay, let's kill all of these bucks and does as well. And then we'll have some more meats. I like doing the hunting, it's good. Spring has finally begun. Not that it really matters much. It's so cold here anyway. What color do we want the bathroom floor to be? Dark carpet. Let's go for dark carpet. We've got an exotic goods trader flying overhead as well. Let's see what they've got. Might have another polar bear for us. Um, no, they've got boomalopes though. And they've got some chinchillas as well. Okay, I don't want boomalopes or chinchillas. Glitter World Medicine, they have 22 of. Um, tornado Generator, they'll buy... They won't buy any of our stuff. They've got a long a heart, prosthetic heart, a bionic ear. Um, and that's about it. They don't have anything. They got a Plants Neuro Trainer Mech Serum. I don't know if I really want that. Okay, fine. Fine, it's a bit of a bust. Get the boomalopes and rocket them to an enemy camp. What, would they just, uh, do they explode on impact? Or do we rocket them into an enemy camp and let them kill the boomalopes? And then the boomalopes explode. And, and they blow up everything. What about if we do a tornado generator on, we'll send somebody, we'll, we'll send somebody out on a transport pod. The tornado generator and just let it go fucking nuts. Carpet for a bathroom, yeah. Have you ever have you never been into a carpeted bathroom before? They're pretty gross and unhygienic, but it's the way it goes. Listen, I'm gonna go for my lunch, I'm starving. It's it's I didn't realize the time, it's like crazy. Um look it. Let me go for lunch and I'll be back in like fifteen minutes, okay? Um I don't have Terry Cam uh hooked up today. I was just um I forgot to do it, so and I'd have to do it to put them on, so I'll have to have this one instead. I hope that that's okay. Listen, um, I'll be back. Uh, I'm just going to have a quick bite to eat, but I'll be back in about um, 10, 15 minutes, okay? I'll put some music on for you, and uh, I'll be right back, okay? All right. See you in a sec. Love you lots. Thanks so much, um, and I'll see you um, in a few minutes. All right? Okay. See you later. Okay. <laughs>